So I'm going to explain plate tectonic theory, but before I do, I just need to tell you something, um, a little bit about the Earth's structure. The Earth is like a boiled egg. And if you imagine taking a slice through the boiled egg, we would have in the middle, we would have the yolk. The Earth's centre is known as the core. And the core is um, a solid ball of iron and nickel. It's solid because it's under very, very intense pressure. Um, and it's around about 5,000 degrees centigrade, which is really, really hot. Your oven is about 240 at its hottest. So you can imagine 240 compared to 5,000. Uh, it's quite a big difference. This is very, very hot. Moving out from the core, we get to the, the egg white, don't we? And that is called the mantle. The mantle is where you find magma, which is semi-molten. That means it's um, part liquid, part solid. It's liquid rock, in other words. Um, it's the thickest layer. And in this mantle, we have something called convection currents which I'll talk about in a little bit more detail in a moment. And then finally, we get to the outer layer, which is the thinnest layer, known as the crust. And the crust is very brittle, just like the eggshell. The eggshell is very brittle, and proportionally, an eggshell on the egg is about the same proportion as the Earth's crust on the Earth. It's brittle and it's broken, and it's broken into pieces. And that's really what starts plate tectonic theory, because those pieces are known as, um, as, no, are known as tectonic plates. So, um, for example, let's break this into a few pieces. OK, so the crust is broken into a few segments. Plate tectonic theory is that these pieces are floating on the Earth's mantle and they are moving. And they move because of convection currents in the mantle. So coming back to this term here. The core is very, very hot and that heat um, causes the magma to swirl around due to convection. Just like if you put your saucepan on the stove and you um, put the heat on, over time, the water will start to move and bubble and boil, and it's the same principle. So uh, we get convection currents rising up, and when they hit the crust, they move sideways and then sink back down to the core, and that makes a convection cell. Um, and likewise, other convection currents will move up and then move back down. And so here, for example, we have convection currents moving in this direction towards each other, which makes the tectonic plates above move towards each other, just like a conveyor belt. And as you can see, we've got some mountains being built. This is um, a good example of plate tectonics. Another example here is if our convection current here rises up and diverges, that means moves apart. So in this instance, they are moving apart. We would actually rip the tectonic plates away from one another. OK, so plate tectonic theory is that the Earth's crust is broken into pieces and those pieces are called tectonic plates and they float on the Earth's mantle and they move around and they move around due to convection currents in the mantle. And where the convection currents come together, the plates move together. Where the convection currents move apart, the plates move apart. And that's plate tectonic theory. So if we look at that in terms of the world now, um, just here I have, just here I have um, drawn on the plate boundaries. And as you can see, using this diagram, some of these pieces of plate are moving apart, and that's the boundary going down the middle of the Atlantic Ocean there. So the African plate here is moving away from the South American, ripping apart. The Eurasian plate, so-called because it's part of Europe and Asia, so Eurasia. The Eurasian, Eurasian plate is moving away from the North American plate. Again, it's ripping apart. Um, and other examples are where the plates come together, 
just here we've got South America moving into um, part of the Pacific Ocean here. <clears throat> this is known as the Nazca Plate. And same up here, we have Japan, which you know experiences a lot of tectonic activity. And um, we've got the Eurasian Plate moving into the Pacific Plate there. So as you can see, these pieces of crust, these large segments of crust, are moving around on the Earth. Um, they're either moving together, which we call a destructive plate margin, or they're moving apart, which we call a constructive plate margin. Or finally, as you can see here, they are moving side by side, which we call a conservative plate margin. And that's really the theory of plate tectonics.